Welcome back to Digital Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. We're talking about digital marketing around the country, and today we're in Studio City, California, with John Uland from Uland. Uh, John, welcome to our conversation today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, we're glad to have you, and even more excited to learn more about you. So, why don't you share with us how you got started in the marketing industry? Yeah, uh, you know, I was a developer at a company called Qualtrics a long time ago, and um, I was coding every day and uh, decided I don't want to do this every day. I had a, a degree in communications and, uh, and decided to kind of meld the two together uh, by joining an email marketing team and, and demand generation, and the, kind of the rest is history from there. Well, definitely it's good to get those types of experiences as you're growing your yeah. career and getting yourself in, in the direction you want. So obviously at some point you made the decision to go out on your own and start an agency. So really what sparked that for you? Yeah, you know, I spent most of my career as a one person CRM, um, email marketing, marketing automation, you know, professional. So I, whatever company I worked at, I was always the, pretty much the only person on the team handling that. And uh, it was stressful. <laughs> and uh, what I learned is that there's a lot of people like that who are, you know, these professionals, they're in, you know, mid to upper level management uh, and they're tasked with, the, here's, here's a CRM, here's email marketing, here's marketing automation, go. And they, they're just like overwhelmed with everything that they need to do. Um, and I've spent a long time doing it and getting really good at it. And so um, my goal is to just support them and make them look really good within the company, but also get them results. And that really comes down to getting the results is, is key, but really getting some of that stress away from the tracking and the yeah. CRM and getting those emails out, it can definitely be stressful because there's a lot that goes into email marketing. It's not just here's an address and boom, there it goes. There's a science, yeah. there's an art to writing the subject line and the copy to make sure that's effective and resonating with an audience. How much time and effort do you put in and, and what kind of conversation are you having about the story that these clients want to tell through their emails? Yeah, you know, it's it's so funny. People really care a lot about how the email looks more than the content uh, in, in many situations. They care a lot about how the email looks more than the content that's in it. And it really should be the other way around. You know, they always say content is king. And I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but it's true. Um, and, and it's really what's within the email that's counting more and more. You know, you can test subject lines and optimize open rates and things like that. But at the end of the day, if your email is not engaging, it's not going to get you any results. So uh, really try to spend a lot of time focusing on making sure that content is authentic um, and, uh, and speaking to the, the, the audience that uh, it's going to. And people really want to be spoken to the way that, that really resonates to them. But let me ask you this. Obviously, you want the content, sure. you want the writing to be on point so people are, are responding to it. Where are you with a graphic email or, a, or an image in the email or a video in the email? How does that, do, do you think that matters or does that vary on the clients or not whatsoever? You know... Truly, I don't think it matters that much. Um, there might be, if you're like a giant corporation that's sending, you know, a bajillion emails every day or whatever, uh, you might be able to optimize your emails and, uh, with you know, more images or more HTML or less or something like that. And you'll get, you know, a one to 2% uh, increase, a single digit increase, let's say, uh, and with your optimization. And that might mean a lot to you because you're working at such a massive scale. But I typically work with tech startups People who you know are in their Series A, Series B funding uh, range, and uh, and so they're not really dealing with a you know level of scale that someone like Uber is, and um, and so for the, for the scale of people that I work with and that I try to help the most, it's not gonna it, you know a, a good looking email uh, is gonna is not gonna be as good as one that has good content. So when it comes to images. Um, and different like media types, yeah, mix it up. But um, as long as it drives the story rather than saying, oh, that's a sexy email. You know, like it, if you want, here's the thing. If you want, there's a great website called Really Good Emails. They, um, if you want to end up on really good emails, like their design showcase, design a really good email, like go for design. But if you want to convert, focus on the content. And that's really key to everything is, is having the right story to tell, but really translating yeah. into the content that people are going to absorb 
it's, uh, it's extremely important. And it really tells a great story about the things you're doing with your clients and the care that you are sharing with them to make sure that their message is getting across and they're getting the response that they want. So we really thank you for joining us and really sharing your story with us. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. It's our pleasure. And thank you for joining us as well. Having the right copy on email is so important. It cannot be stressed enough because it's yeah. you are trying to figure out that one thing that's going to get someone to respond. And it could be different with other people, but if you really have that, that science of, of emails and get the right copywriters in, you can see that success rate go up. There's a lot more information to learn about Uland here on Daily Abrief, so please check that out. But go out and have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Digital Champions.